What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the next episode of another Disney podcast. That's right. We didn't go anywhere. We're still here. I know it's been a while since we've talked to you, but that's because our one of our main members, one of our uh, the, the third of our triumvirate, was over the pond, and now we have welcomed him back. I'm here with Rob. I'm here with Dave. What is up, fellas? Hello, everyone. What's up, everyone? <laughs> Dave, I don't, no, I, don't, any, I don't have I don't any know, theme music. I don't know if you listened to our last show, Dave, but I, if I you did. if if you hadn't, I hope you enjoyed our tribute to you at the was, end of the show. It was very moving. <laughs> it took us a lot of like planning. Like I don't know. I, I, don't know. I mean, it's like it's really one word. But Rob and I were very stressed about saying the word bicycle together. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was moving. Uh, it needed its own theme music, you know, kind of something like Secret. this. Yeah. Wait, this seems like I died while I was gone. That is not the right music to play. <laughs> yes, I, I'm I'm finally back. I was gone for almost three weeks in the, I mean, I guess I can say now, in the Middle East for work. Uh, no, it was not military related in any way, shape, or form. It sounds very inconspicuous, but uh, yeah, I do international, I work for an international broadcast company i don't know how to say it like spy company yes yeah, spy we i do i work in the international television business in in virginia which sounds really weird but yeah so we go where our talent is and our talent is all over the globe so we go to europe a lot and we go to the middle east a lot so mm. this was a middle east trip it was great it was nice. just a long time nice well we're glad you're back me too Welcome if back. i didn't have a family i'd probably move over there but that's the whole different story <laughs> I love living. I love being internationally. It's so like America's fantastic, but that's just different. Right. And I like different. There you go. Yeah. And I, I forgot to do it. And I got, you know, friends like, how do you, you, you made it your thing and you forgot to do it. So that's right. Bro. That's why I, 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 I didn't forget this week though. So there you go. Nailed it. Nailed and it. Uh, the tribute was super amazing. Thank you guys. No one, <laughs> no one, but me knows it. about it. But. <laughs> No, we've been picking up. We, we're getting a lot of, you know, eyes yeah. and listens and stuff. So thank you. But by the way, everyone, thank you so much watching us on YouTube, listening to the podcast. We're, we're, we're starting to get there. We're, I'm, I'm happy. So, but there was, there was one little issue though. While you were gone, Dave, they dropped a ton of news. Yeah, a lot <laughs> happened. Ton of news, so. <laughs> they dropped a whole bunch and Dave is, yeah. has no clue, no yeah. clue at all. Rob's like, w w let's go live. Let's talk about this. And I'm like, well, uh, we could do it at four in the morning, your time or four in the morning, my time. <laughs> didn't, didn't gel too well. But I said, you know what? I'm dying to hear what Dave and Brandon thinks about these big D23 announcements that they did, you know, a couple weeks ago, obviously. But you know, the, the casual Disney viewer might not even know that this stuff happened. But Or somebody who was out of the country with spotty internet. <laughs> exactly. Time, you know? Exactly. But, you know, I, I really want to know. And I'm like... I made some notes, and uh, I want to hear what you guys think. So, and of course, I'm starting. Look, I even wore my hat. Like I, I was so excited. Hat. I was so excited about these uh, announcements that I wore my hat. Now, if you're watching us on YouTube, I didn't go to this. I have a a, a work friend. Uh, his wife is a cast member, and they go to the the destination D23 and the oh, real D23 every D23. time. So they always say. If I find a trucker hat, do you want me to get it for you? And I say yes. So <laughs> it showed, it showed up on my desk. Thank you. Yeah, James. I think we should start off by saying I'm gonna I'm gonna like get some tomatoes thrown at me for this one, but this is the fake D23. I just mm -hmm. want to throw that out there. This is the fake one. This is not the real one. Well, yeah, as Dave was but like, there was he a was lot waving of stuff goodbye. that came out of the fake one. No, wait, like Dave was waving goodbye. I was like, yeah, this nothing's happening. Forget it. It's a fake one, and you know, boom. But I think they threw a lot of stuff out there, so we'll yeah. see. They yeah. use it as a legit platform. That is for sure. Yeah, definitely. So wait, hold on. Brandon has an amazing shirt, too. I want to see this what? shirt. What is what? it? Epcot. It is the, hold on. Let me see. Ready? We're going to do this. Ready? Yeah. It's, the, it's the food and wine festival. It has the, the, ma the, the magical family, and it's super soft. It's like the most comfortable shirt. Oh, nice. I, love, I love the super soft shirt. So. Super soft. All right. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of steer the ship today, if that's all right. So steer Dave, on, Dave's got a couple weeks. I steered the ship last episode. I'm gonna steer the ship again. So that's right. We're, that's fine. We're rudderless. Rob, Where do you got? So what you part start. do you guys want to start? What you, I'm gonna let Dave pick that. How's that? This one. What yeah, part? Dave, do you what's start? your favorite part? <laughs> what's my favorite part? We're gonna start uh, your favorite part. 
Epcot. I mean, it's really Magic Kingdom, but Epcot. 1987 Epcot is my favorite park. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, by the way, oh, wait, but timeout. Time, well, timeout. We got to stop uh -oh. the show here. Dave, I don't know if you heard, while you were gone, they closed half the Magic Kingdom and a bear was in the yeah, Magic Kingdom. That was hilarious. We've and now it is the, me, the most <laughs> memed bear this. in all of history, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that bear is the most popular, famous bear in the history of the world. I love the bear memes with him oh, riding great. Tron and him in the yes. Splash Mountain. Like, so I awesome. spent all day just looking at bear memes. It was amazing. I can't believe so I almost good. forgot the bear. You know, I, I nicknamed him Chiro. I, I think that's a cool name, so I don't know. Chiro the bear. So I like it. Um, you should sell t-shirts rumor has it that he was like a cast member found him in the caves oh on yeah tom sawyer that's what island. i heard like they were checking to open but, tom sawyer island in the in the morning like could you imagine coming around the corner to a, a bear that yeah that's uh that'd right. have been my last day on as a cast member <laughs> exactly it wasn't it wasn't a big bear and it wasn't a small bear brandon have you ever seen bears just in the neighborhood by the way I'm oh yeah we, oh, we have bears that run around our neighborhood all the time uh it's always posted on the facebook neighborhood group um they're very skinny like i guess this spring was not there wasn't a lot of food around a lot of berries so they're very right. skinny bears so they're like rooting in trash cans and going anywhere there may be food uh so that's yeah a, there's there's bears running around all the all the time big old winter coat to live in florida <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy but i believe it that it was on the island because like if you go like people were messaging me like what's going on at magic kingdom like like i know like i'm the expert I'm like i have no clue then i was looking at twitter then there's rumors of a rumors of a bear they didn't confirm it and then like um like uh splash uh, splash mountain area now you know tiana's adventure and big thunder and uh, the haunted mansion and pirates it was all closed like for the it was closed up until like noon 12 30 so um they did confirm it was a bear i looked up florida black bear it seems like the only bear that's in florida <laughs> that's what it was called the florida black bear the florida and black, black bear I'm, I'm like they wound up finding it behind the haunted mansion so i'm like well maybe it wasn't on the island but it was like from early in the morning i would say 8 a.m to like noon they finally opened that area I did look, they're very good swimmers. So yeah. it could be all possible oh, yeah. That, yeah. that they were on the island. And they the natural thing is to let it just go. You know what I mean? So they got to open a park. So they did call the Wildlife Federation or whatever. And there was footage. There was a, a helicopter footage. Oh, yeah. Um, it was like breaking news down here, man. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> it was like one of those L.A. car chases. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. We now see the bear behind the haunted mansion. We now see the bear. Oh, they've tranquilized yeah. the bear. It fell out of the tree. Totally, yeah. So they, they, they took him away like in a sheet. It was a medium-sized bear. And then like a day later, you got to look it up. I wish I had the sound effect here. It's the funniest footage. Like the next night, like the bear came to and they brought it to like a preserve and they knocked it out. And the guy hits the truck. Boom, 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 boom. Run, bear, run. Or go, bear, go. <laughs> like this southern accent. And then the bear just, he like looks up and he just like runs away. And that was the end of uh, Shiro oh the gosh. bear. But I had to tell that story too. So <laughs> it was very exciting. It was a very exciting day. So it was a very exciting time. Very exciting. All right, and that's our to, show. Let's go that's to Epcot. It. I'm sorry. I forgot about that's that. I, that's I, all I, we got I, today. I had Welcome. to talk about it. That's all we got. So, so yeah. So there's a new fireworks show called Luminous. The Sympathy of Us, and it'll debut December 5th. All now, right. Breaking news, I saw just yesterday, the barges do move, <laughs> which is awesome. So They do move. Yeah, I saw there was a formation in the middle. It looks like kind of like a star or something like that, so that looks interesting. Brandon, have you heard anything about this uh, this new show? Uh, I'm I'm cautiously encouraged. Having <laughs> I, I was at Epcot maybe a week ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a lot of hardware in the lagoon. Mm. Like they have put a ton of stuff in the lagoon and I did see the barges and they do seem very, uh, illuminations like, like they can move in and out. So I imagine they'll use that bridge to put them backstage. Uh, but I'm cautiously optimistic about this show. I did read a story where, uh, they submitted like the, the score to this show and it wasn't good enough yeah so they were like good that. try <laughs> come back when you have something good yeah they so named that, a composer too and they're like yeah. yeah they didn't like it so they sent him back to the keyboard or whatever yeah. or the yeah. studio it, it was probably like uh we are you are the magic or something it was they were like no 
to bring it back. But yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic. And uh, uh, I, I, will it debut December 5th? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> it might. Who knows? It could be Epcot forever, forever. <laughs> Dave, have you heard anything about this this uh, luminous? I think the name is funny. I have no comment. <laughs> well, Dave, if you heard anything, you're just going to jump in. It sounds like a good thing. Here's here's my. But I, I want to hear your take. How do on I be politically correct? Here's my concern. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it sounds like we built harmonious. Uh, if you've watched this show for any time, I've always called that show Horizons because I could never remember it was called Harmonious. So throw back to like I the like 37 the shows where I called it Horizons and not Harmonious. <laughs> now that it's gone, I know the name really well. Of course. So he, here, here's where I stand. We spent, I don't know, what was it like 600 million? Maybe it was 6 million. I, I think know, it was like on, a trillion. I don't know. On, a lot of money. Uh, Harmonious. And we had to bolt them to the seafloor. Because oh, how awful it was that for 20 years, well, three days short, short of 20 years, but that's a whole nother rant. Um, we did this with Illuminations. And now we build a great show that was worthy of replacing Illuminations. And it gets egged because of the Starship. And I get it. I, I get it. But, you know, why didn't we just make that floating? And now it looks like we're going right back to... We're gonna put some barges in the water, and we're gonna <laughs> launch off some shows, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna swim them back over to the bridge. So, um, all joking aside, I'm excited uh, because literally nothing could be worse than Epcot Forever. <laughs> <laughs> but that should tell you like where we're at in the state of nighttime shows when it's like, uh, Ralph, we the music is not good enough. Let's just start over. Like how? Like really? Like, I don't know how we can be a company this big, yeah. right? And that, like, somebody needs to be, like, we need to pay somebody 70 grand a year to sit in with the recording at the London Symphony Studios or wherever they're doing this and be and be like, hey, I don't think we should move any forward. This doesn't sound like it's going to be great versus, like, writing the whole thing, probably recording it, putting it together, and then being like, well, <laughs> so I don't know, like, you're cautiously optimistic. I'm extremely concerned, but I'm sure it'll be great. That was a lot for not having no comment. We'll see. No, I, I see. I knew. See, I, I was. We could stop right now. I was right. So thank you very it's much. It's a cool name. I do. Good the name is really cool. It is kind of cool. I'm excited about it. So it gets back. It also gets back to like the like the the theme of illuminations and the song yes. that played after you were leaving was like we are all one. We are. We are like, one. We are one humanity. We are, and so this one, hopefully, by the name the, the Symphony of Us, gets back to like that yeah. theme. Yeah, have Harmonious. You heard, was have cool. you heard? If you heard anything else, what it's going to be about? Or nope. <laughs> I don't know if they released anything. I don't know, but I, if you guys haven't heard, they, they're having to redo the music. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, I think it's going to be about us. It's going to yeah, be about it us. Is. That's awesome. Yeah. It but I'm cautiously cool. optimistic, just simply from the amount of stuff. That's in the lagoon. Yeah. It Which looks, is, uh, nobody's throwing eggs at that. Okay, let's move on. I'm just going to gripe about See, that. I kind of just did a quick Google search, and it seems like they're going to do that spray laser effect. There's it looks like there's a heart, like with the uh, nice. spaceship Earth in the background. So Oh, so it's like Rivers of Light-esque. Kind of, and um, the world of color in uh, Disneyland, kind of, so. Or, we'll uh, see California Adventure, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. When it gets closer, I'm sure we'll talk about it. So, all right, next. Yeah. So, uh, way of journey of uh, Moana, a uh, journey of water, as <laughs> inspired by Moana. <laughs> Worst name ever, but I just just will take journey of water. What what is the release date on that? I think it's any day now, or is it, is it uh, maybe yesterday? Like this week, it opened. I think Brandon officially. I maybe think ne- maybe maybe next. No, because I think there's at least one more week of cast or. Annual pass holder previews the first week of oh, nice. October. So, okay. as we as we mentioned in our previous show, yeah, I I attended the cast member preview of mm. Way of Water or whatever it's called. Mm. Um, interesting. I want to be politically correct about how I <laughs> like Dave. Yeah, yeah. I want to take a Dave approach to this. Oh, oh um. Don't come to Florida specifically to go to this attraction. Too late. Um, Book my trip. <laughs> um, 
No, in all seriousness, it is a very cute area. It's a very interactive area. It very much reminds me of Pandora in the decoration. Uh, I think this thing would have been suited way better in Animal Kingdom than in Epcot. Uh, it's all about, you know, Animal Kingdom is all about like conservation and like nature and like this fits in that because it's the journey of water. It's it's very cute. Uh, you like walk in. There's a big sign that you can take pictures uh, in front of. Like there was a huge line to take pictures there. And then you kind of walk in and there's little the fountains. Sign. There's a line to take a picture in front there's, of the sign. There's yeah. a line to take a picture in front of the sign. You walk in, there's these little fountains, very uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train-esque. If you've ever been in the queue of that, you run your hand underneath of it, plays music, musical notes. Um, so that's kind of the start of the journey of water. Wow. If, I mean, that sounds really cool for the start. <laughs> You've sold it really well, I must say. Uh, and then you move through it, and there's fountains that jump up and things like that. Uh, it very much reminds me of a queue to a, a ride. Like, it reminds me, like, it looks like you're standing in line for an attraction. Mm. And so. Like, where's the roller coaster at the end? <laughs> exactly. Like, wh what are we leading to? And I thought it was going to be so much more. Like, we took our time, and it took. 15 minutes to go wow. through now could you spend all day in there looking at every last little detail in the rocks yes could you stand and play in each water feature for five minutes yes i guess if you did that you could maybe spend a couple hours in there um, wow. but it's Dang. going to be it's going to be interesting because there's a lot of interactive features that kids are very drawn to and it'll be interesting to see when there's no rules you know what i mean right. like you can just go in there how it's going to be there's a splash pad for the little kids which mckenna loved um there's fountains that they Did can she get their soaked hands I, I guess oh, she yeah. get wet oh yeah she definitely <laughs> i'll okay. send you guys some videos she definitely got soaked <laughs> and uh she played the fountains and well. you know it's very cool it's very interactive it's just going to be very crowded when they open it just general public yeah. well i hope and, they limit who could be in there you know in like a capacity but yeah, and then how are I the thought it was trails, the trail width. I don't want to say pathways or uh, how are the yeah, ones? they're pretty wide. You could walk two or okay. three, three or four people across, and then there's also like it's split, so you can go if you don't want to get wet, you can go to the dry trail, and so it oh, takes okay. you away from the water features. But they have, if you've ever been up by the Imagination Pavilion, they have the water things that jump, and these though like hit the rocks and splash everywhere so that you get wet. Oh, um, fun. So it's fun. Like it, on a hot day, it'll be fun to cool off a little bit, but nice. um, it could, it could get very crowded. It's a cute area. I wouldn't make a trip for it though. Okay. All right. One of the announcements was Moana meet and greet. It's going to be right next to the journey of water. So oh, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> be good. Yep. Makes That's sense. That's kind of cool. That's one totally, of the announcements. Totally makes sense. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it would serve better in, in animal kingdom for sure. I think so. Too. Interesting, because it's not really an animal movie. No. And I think the area, like the attraction itself, lends it more to Animal Kingdom, not so much the movie. Like the feel of it is very Animal Kingdom esque. Wow. That's the best way I can describe it. When you walk through it, you're like, this should be an Animal Kingdom. Like you just have that feeling. Dang. Yeah. I haven't really heard any negative things about it, but like, I, you know. It didn't it, people weren't like raving about it, but I've heard I've heard good things so far. So yeah, I did think it was hilarious. I don't know if you guys saw this. Like they did this. Hey, if you're an annual pass holder, all you have to have is a reservation to Epcot. You can just come on, show up, and we'll let you in. Well, the demand obviously was so ridiculous that they were <laughs> like, "Crap, we have to do a virtual queue." Mm. So then, yeah. apparently, the virtual queue was all the way over by the land pavilion. And there was a 20 minute line to scan the barcode to get in the virtual queue. Oh my. Cause my it wasn't incorporated into the app. Cause they obviously weren't expecting it to yep. be that busy. So the first day of, of annual pass holder previews was crazy. Mm. Uh, but it seems to have calmed down since then. But I thought it was, I was like, that's so Disney. Like how did they not anticipate that everyone would want to go to this? Like that should have been a virtual queue from the beginning. Yeah. Developing a new version of Test Track. I was shocked at that, I'll be honest. So 
A new version will be inspired by World of Motion. Bring that spirit of optimism. So they're going old school. I love uh, World of Motion. So I don't know. What do you guys think about a new test track? You mean the third version? The third 3.0, yes. I mean, I guess, I mean, I get it because, I mean, there's not many things technology-wise that changes faster than vehicles, right? I mean, it's, I mean, every car has a new model every year, but man, it just seems like, is this the show that needs, I mean, is this the attraction that needs three, like, uh, save the coin? Like, okay, let me, let's, let's ask a different question. Anybody dissatisfied with the current version of Test Track? I like the I like I like World of Motion, <laughs> and I like I think I like the original version better, but it's it's okay. Okay, yeah, it's okay. So Rob doesn't. I, I'm fine with the way it is. I'm like fifty. So 50. my question is, how much money is that gonna take, and what could we build new instead? <laughs> like, how about something new and different versus like uh, putting a new layer of skin on? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just because it's super. It, it's super. I, I can't even think of the word uh, popular like that, that ride, mm-hmm. that attraction always has a line. It always has a weight. Yeah. The only thing I wish that they could do was uh, the outside part is great, but like, it's not like you have a view mm. when you go outside. I wish they could cover that in some way. Like if they're, if we're really going to reimagine this, like let's cover that some way so that it can operate in the weather. Right. Mm, because yeah. it's a great, attraction but if there's weather and there's thunderstorms it shuts down and that takes one of the main attractions at epcot away right yeah so if we're going to do a cool rebranding of this let's find a way to cover the track or make that part indoor it would make it seem like 64.9 miles per hour was significantly faster if it was in a dark tunnel with lights going by you you know what i mean good point that would seem, good, yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's awesome. That, that would make it seem like you were going a hundred, which would be cooler to me, and it could operate all the time. So I'm, I'm again cautiously. I think that's the we're going to call the show cautiously optimistic. <laughs> uh, I'm cautiously optimistic about the redo, but I think it's still going to have the same old problems in that it can't operate all the time. Yeah, it's just a slow. Like it's not a people eater. It's just you know how many six people at a time. You know every. 20 seconds or so whatever yeah. it is yeah that's the problem so well at the end of the show they had they figment came out we've talked about figment the new figment we were wondering what he's going to look like to me Wish he looks figment. like godzilla he looks like a mini godzilla <laughs> but um he's not like that big blob one he's not that big puffy one with the guy in it he looks like a mini godzilla so figment meet and greets tomorrow they're gonna you're gonna start tomorrow so had the meet and greet. It was a five hour wait. The meet figment the next day. Five hours. Five hours. Because I watched the vlogger do it. I think maybe it might have been people love figment. I mean, I'm looking yeah, at so. his popcorn bucket right there, which I think is still worth about four hundred eighty million dollars on eBay. <laughs> um, I, there he I, is. I, 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 it was there because this is a legitimate question. Was there an over under in Vegas of how long? took until he ate it because that happened pretty quick <laughs> well, the, i don't know if you all saw the footage meet, but it was he pretty fell fun. twice he fell twice oh, actually so and that's the same exact spot that i think wreck it ralph fell yep. to which is bizarre so and we it's also weird that he's coming that, so. out of that internet tunnel like it's <laughs> like i don't know why they branded that that way it literally works for just two characters in all of disneydom <laughs> but we have this custom entrance and exit tunnel through the internet for figment at, at, like at figments <laughs> attraction yeah. oh this was maybe maybe that's the guy that wrote the music for luminous <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the the composer also designed the portal entrance <laughs> for figment hey let's do figment there i mean it's his attraction perfect Oh man, we kid because we love. Yeah, I'd love me some Figment. I don't know. I wish they. How about we reskin that ride, that attraction instead of Test Track? That'd yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Let's 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 reskin it back to what it used to be. Yeah, I love the original. You know, I, I have a, a YouTube channel, Shameless Plug, and that's like one of the most requested videos. Is that original um, Journey and Imagination with Dreamfinder yeah. and Figment? So. I know we've talked about this before, or maybe we haven't actually talked about it on the show, but like 
when you had Dreamfinder and Figment that used to roam around the park, one of the early ones that did it was Joe Rody. Yeah, yeah. Did y'all yeah, know that? Definitely. Yeah. Cool. Crazy. That's crazy. And, and he's in the video too. Like there's a video in the the after part. And Joe Rody's in that video, actually. Oh which my is gosh. Cool. So that footage exists too. So he did that. So Very for those cool. of you who don't know who Joe Rody is, he um worked at Disney. <laughs> yeah, he like developed the entire animal kingdom. He's got Nailed those it. funky earrings that like look like uh five times bigger. Um they look like um lifesavers, those big ass lifesavers. So <laughs> blame, blame him for the disco yeti. Too funny. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, by the way, I, I I did see that um speaking of disco yeti, a little off topic. I see that um Rise of the Resistance that that what's his name is does not move anymore which is bizarre they have a mode b mode and now he just stands okay. there gotcha i was like he was like speaking of yeti rise <laughs> of the resistance i was like how is how is this tied together <laughs> they're saying kylo ren is the new disco yeti because he now it's they had a mode b mode they would like block him with a video screen have you heard this brandon I now have. he just stands there like like he's in disco f yeti. mode now he's in f mode now it's crazy so i wonder if this happens at disneyland too because i never see anything happen at disneyland but i always see stuff here <laughs> i don't know the new disco yeti 2023 is kylo ren so we got wow. we got to dig into that all right brandon's gonna pick the next park then i'm gonna pick the third park all right i'm gonna go to uh i'm gonna just i'm gonna it's like go jeopardy to- <laughs> I'm gonna go to Magic Kingdom. I liked a lot Ooh. of the updates for Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom's. All, I was gonna save that for last, but we could do Magic. Well, that's Kingdom fine. Well. Let's go to the. Let's let's go to Animal Kingdom. I'm all, <laughs> let's do Animal Kingdom. I'm all about. Well, well first off, there's nothing for Hollywood Studios. There's one yeah. little thing. They're gonna. Well, let's just get this one out of the way, if you don't mind. New Star Tours ride with Ahsoka is coming in the spring. It's gonna be Hollywood Studios, Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris. You know how they have the new scenes from the new movies. They're gonna have Ahsoka there. So. Kind of yeah, cool. so we'll get rid of that's there we go. Hollywood Studios is done. There's nothing really else there. I was, you know, no. kind of sad. Oh, but we mentioned this before the show. Hollywood Studios gonna have a moment of silence, guys. Go ahead, Brandon, if you want to talk about the moment of silence. Oh, that's hold on, right. hold on. Brandon, Play that music. I'm gonna take, take it away. <laughs> it was an idea, it was a dream. And now it's gone. By the time you hear this, the Galactic Star Cruiser will have sailed its final voyage. You have 10 seconds of music left. (laughs) Rest in peace, Star Cruiser. We hardly do ye. (laughs) That might have been the best segment we've ever done. (laughs) That was awesome, Brandon. We gave it to the right person. And that's our show. No, I, I be honest with you, I, can't, I love seeing on Twitter like one last time. Like, like these people are like, they've done it before. Like they're this is like the third or fourth time they're going, like one last time. Like they're going like the like I don't know, like they're riding an attraction. Like yeah, somebody hey, needs to make that movie? video <laughs> with that set to the music from one last time from Hamilton. <laughs> be awesome. But yeah, okay, so let's go. Let's Man, we gotta quit. Quick. We gotta we gotta move. We gotta let's expedite move. this. So Animal, Animal Kingdom, Kingdom. Dino Land is going maybe. This that should have been the name of the show. Maybe. <laughs> Question mark. They want to maybe reimagine Dino Land to like like kind of like a South American tropical American feel. And Canto and Indiana Jones is gonna be placed in these areas. I guess Encanto is gonna be where that now defunct roller coaster was and now and indiana jones is supposedly the same layout as dino as dinosaur so they're going to replace it with indiana jones so maybe <laughs> just, yeah this is this I'm is a no story things. next <laughs> yeah i don't know what do you guys think you think they're actually going to pull the trigger or just is just smoke and mirrors again uh i i don't, what does indiana jones have anything to do with animal kingdom uh what is Encanto? i mean i know there were animals involved but like the theme of that movie wasn't animally yeah i don't think either one of those has any place in animal kingdom and i feel like they just said that because they need to appease people like we we need to put everybody thinks it's zootopia so let's 
really build Zootopia, but we don't want to tip our hat. We don't want to tip our hand to the fact that it's really going to be Zootopia, but we're not going to commit to Zootopia. So we're going to make up this tropical Americas. Like what? Like Encanto is not even in Americas. (laughs) So, yeah, I don't, I think this is just a placeholder for the real project. Well, what's the real project? I feel like it's really going to be Zootopia. Yeah, but I mean, not to be a, we'll a get hood to ornament, that. but Zootopia is legitimately coming to the Tree of Life. <laughs> Spoiler so, alert! Well, like, a show. Sorry, I hate to jump I, ahead. A Zootopia but, show is coming to the Tree of Life, right? Right, but then the Tree of Life is not a not super duper close to Dino Land, is it? Well, it could be the new Star Wars at Disney World, like a takeover. <laughs> Zootopia is <laughs> taking over Animal Kingdom, like Star Wars took over. Hollywood hey, they should Studios. just build it like Hollywood Studios and have a, a fragmented park with six dead ends. That'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what, Dinosaur, I love it, but I picked Dinosaur over Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is not the best ride in the world, but I loved it when I went. I've, I haven't rode it in a long time. But I, I love that. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> <Indiana it is. laughs> I mean, I, maybe there's a lot in you know because obviously. I feel like the scope of yeah, this is this is hard to talk about because Brandon hasn't been there, but the scope of the interior interior ride building and how they open that up and how you can see it, it makes it look mammoth in there. And then I I'm I'm assuming that the building is identical because everybody says it's the same track layout, but is the building the same? Because if they're going to put anything like, I, sorry, all right, I'm rambling. The best part about the Indiana Jones ride is the section where it opens up and you see the Brit, and it just yeah. looks like you're Do in this look giant place. Yeah, right. It does look huge. And like Dino, the does dinosaur not. ride doesn't feel like that at all. Yeah, I saw a tweet. Uh, and it's it's not really the same layout. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So <laughs> I, I think it's going to be a smaller version of Indiana Jones if they yeah, do pull it out. But I don't know. But by the way, the Zootopia land looks incredible in, in Hong Kong or wherever oh, the hell no. it is, Shanghai, totally whatever. What? Totally worth it. I wish my international okay. travels for work would take me near there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> little uh, detour. But yeah, this is a spoiler alert. Uh, the, the other um, Disco Yeti is Hopper in the Tree of Life. He's there. He's not there. Some show he's he disappears. Some show he's not there. Like you hear Hopper, but the the figure does not pop up. So Hopper's like one of my favorite animatronics, but and he is just so he cool. is really weathered. They're not doing anything because obviously they're going to change the show. So I saw a tweet today. Hey, what happened to Hopper? And they're like, Oh, I was there. I saw him. He wasn't there. Like I was there. He was there in the morning, and then he wasn't there in the afternoon. I saw it twice. So it's bizarre. So that's I love Bugs Life. My kids hate it. So they they're happy it's going. Oh, I love that. So movie. they're going to put a Zootopia show. In the tree of life. So, like you said, the spoiler. I, I love it too. So, um, I don't know. I, 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 uh, I guess like, <laughs> like these changes, like they, of course, I always say, don't mess with our childhood, don't mess with our memories. That's always what I say. But you know what? Like, my kids hate that. We didn't even do it last time. And I'm really pissed yeah. that we didn't do it. I mean, we I'm okay with the changes, but like, yeah. and I get that, like, you only have four gates. So you have to figure out where to, add whatever you're going to be adding and building but i don't know i struggle with like the placement like i mean i i haven't seen the moana walk through and so but like i know brandon really well it's, i trust him yeah but it's like when i hear that i'm like that's weird that you would think animal kingdom but like you know what's weird indiana jones and animal kingdom like mm-hmm. that doesn't even like i mean wh- when you think all right I, I i'll go last you guys each have five seconds Brandon, I'll go to you first. Pick Indiana Jones, any Indiana Jones movie, an animal that you think of that's iconic in the movie. Go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. The only one. animal I can think of is the Zero. monkey. The monkey. That's all okay. I can think all right. of. I don't even know what the bottom are going to be. That's it. Rob, go. <laughs> the monkey Five, who died from the date. Four, <laughs> that's it, monkey. Rob, that's your, it. your time's running out. Five, monkey. I said it. Four. Okay, to me, it's either snakes or elephant. The it's, big it's When they true. ride the elephant, like that's I love true. that scene. The and snakes. then, of course, why, did it have, why does it have to be snakes? Like That's true. Yeah. They have both of those in Animal Kingdom, so I guess they get tied in that way. But yeah, I, I mean, 
if you're going to make an Indiana Jones attraction and you're really going to spend all the money to do it, like tear down the Indiana Jones stage show, build a big show building over yeah. there yeah. and put the that Indiana is a Jones huge right there. plot of land. Sure. Is. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Is that everything that's animal kingdom? And I'm, <clears> and can we just stop with the? Right, I'm going full screen. This is, this is my rant. <laughs> Here he goes. Rant time. Um, Here he goes. Can we stop with the maybes? Like this is <gasps> yeah, okay. Exactly. Cause we talked about Encanto before and we talked about Zootopia for, and before they talked about Encanto, maybe being behind like Big Thunder Mountain. What? And now it's like in a whole different park. I'm so confused as to where and why. And I, to me, I'm like, just don't even bring it up until you have something legitimate to announce. Like, I, I mean, I get that they just want people talking about it, but this is just the second time that like this, maybe we're thinking about it. I don't know. Like I, as a Disney fan, I'm done with that. Yeah, but that's the end of my rant. Yeah, I don't even have it in my notes, but I for, totally forgot. I don't know why it's not in there. We're moving on to the Magic Kingdom. Another blue sky, maybe. I know this pissed you off last time. And but like, oh, we're still talking about that land behind the fantasy land there behind uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe, maybe blue sky idea. You know, it's going to be bigger. This is their, their big tagline. This is what we got. It's going to be bigger than new fantasy land. That's what we got. It's going to be the biggest investment in a new land yes. in Walt Disney World history. So they're well, definitely putting something there. Well, maybe. maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, Josh DeMario made it sound like they are putting something there. What it is, we don't know. Don't know Very when bizarre. it's going to happen. I don't think they do either. Don't know. But again, this is like... We have to throw some nuggets to our Disney fandom oh, to whatever. make them feel like because they spent a thousand dollars to come to this thing, like we have Fake to give we have, we have to give them something <laughs> to go away with excited about. You know what I mean? Like yep. fake D20. I, I would be more appreciative if they just came out and they're like, We got nothing. Thanks for coming. Like, yeah, like I would rather you just be truthful with That's me. Like, we'd love to build something back there. Right now, we're working on it, but I don't know what it's going to be. I don't it know what it's going to be. It's going to be something. And it's not going to be until twenty forty seven. Universal, <laughs> Universal will have fourteen gates by then, <laughs> yes. and we're going to be just getting around to what we're going to do behind Big Fun. Nintendo Dark. Land will have been expanded four times uh to include all of your favorite nintendo characters and we're still thinking about what we can put behind big Thunder and going Mountain. going back to journey of water again like the time it's going to take universal to build an entire new theme park it took for a 15 minute walk through at epcot oh my gosh Deep. hey i have a question for you are there still uh walls up at epcot 100 percent. yeah, yeah. 100%. there's still walls around the journey of water attraction there you go Great. Dave, Dave, I don't think it's going to be done. I don't know till summer. I think, like, I don't. Uh, it's like, I think we joked about it maybe last show or the show before. Like, our landscapers could do better than this. Like, I don't understand. Like, what are they putting a statue in there? They're selling the statue merch, by the way. There's, there's a Walt statue. He looks like he's sitting on a toilet. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so, not, yeah. And then they have a Christmas ornament, and it looked like um, they were like joking. It like didn't even look like Walt. Christmas my favorite thing that's out right now is that uh mickey candle that maybe says happy halloween or something like that that one looks really cool. That's cool maybe it was only at disneyland i watched a vlog that had a guy went shopping in world of disney at downtown disney it was cool okay it's like a fake light up candle I didn't see it. It's cool. Good to see it. Check it out. I didn't mean to dethrone the conversation. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, maybe, so you're just dethroning. You're just dethroning something that's a maybe. So no problem, yeah, Dave. No problem. Sorry. No, it's just right. a maybe. What, what, Rob? What's coming to Magic Kingdom that's not a maybe? What is like? So, okay. So, you know, again, look, Country Bear Jamboree. I was a kid. My YouTube was the records. My YouTube was setting up little teddy bears and doing fake shows when I was a little kid. That was my that was my YouTube when I was a kid. So I didn't have a phone, none of that stuff. So you're you're messing with my my memories with Country Bear Jamboree. But I know the words by heart, which is scary. But they're gonna re redo a new act. They're reinterpreting favorite Disney songs in different genres of country music in 2024. They're gonna do this at some point. Um, so they're going to get an update, new songs and stuff. So I don't know. That's what they said. The bear that broke into the park, he was auditioning for the new show. We don't know, but, um, they're going to reimagine country bear jamboree. And again, I love country bear jamboree. My kids don't love it. So not oh, you can't it. touch that. That is a, 
one of the palms in the palm household loves that attraction. they're gonna touch it so you know it's funny though they do Not they have a christmas palm. show they have a, they do <laughs> they do mix it up a little bit they've changed it up a little bit over the years but what do you guys think that reimagining country bear jamboree it, uh, if they take away the there was <laughs> blow. if they take away that i'm never going again that's you're gonna do like a disco part. version of it blood blood on the, the only problem i had with country bear jamboree i'm uh, mixed feelings about it because i love the old one the the thing i don't love is the animatronics are so loud that half the time you can't hear the music <laughs> like, that's the only like, <laughs> you, you just hear like like the the things on the wall are like <laughs> They're like it's singing. Literally, and, like it's literally like Chuck E. Cheese. It sounds like this. It's like <laughs> and the road, the road, the road, the road. try sitting in the front row. You can definitely hear it. it's funny. And can we talk about that? Like when the girls come out of the thing. Like, isn't that like? Are we at a brothel? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> the, it's a little inappropriate. Every time they turn me on, they turn <laughs> yes, me loose. Thank you. That's the word. Oh so. lord. Uh, so. Even though we didn't mean to, I think we just made the case for updating the country <laughs> bears. Right. Sorry to steal your childhood, Rob, but uh, uh, that's got to go. It's offensive. <laughs> if you're into, child. you know, bear brothels. <laughs> well, it, it, it brought a real life one, so I'm just saying <laughs> there's a target market. <laughs> well, over in that area too, there there's word of a new Pirates of the Caribbean. Or Caribbean, however you want to say it, it's like a tavern coming. So I don't know. Is that happening, or is that another? No, this is this it? was like it's happening. That's like a this, yes. was, this sound pretty yeah. good, and I'm pretty stoked about this. Is like this Tortugas or no, what, not Tortugas? Well, maybe that, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Put it where Tortugas is. I've never heard of Tortuga. I've never heard of that place. I've walked by it a million. It's never open. open. It's yeah, it is never open. saw it. So. It's usually like a sit in the shade kind of place. So yeah. hopefully that's where it's going to be. But this is one of the. They, they didn't say where it's going to be. So. This is one of the places that it's going to be at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> this is one of the announcements that I was actually super excited about because obviously if we're moving towards this, like it's never a good thing because people are irresponsible at Disney. But if we're moving towards like actually having alcoholic beverages in Magic Kingdom, which we do mm. at sit down restaurants anyway, like this only makes sense to have a tavern area that you could like (laughs) i don't i still don't think it's going to lead to like your you can walk around magic kingdom with beer like i don't think that's going to happen but i think this is a cool thing that could be very awesomely themed if you listen to our show back when we did reimagineer it and we i rethemed like one of the all-star hotels to a pirates of the caribbean theme like the restaurant or one of the the bars was like this cool pirate tavern so, like, that is what I thought of when I heard this. So, this is super yeah. exciting to me. It could oh. be a really cool atmosphere. Uh, it could provide much-needed libations for parents in Magic Kingdom. Yes. And it's another revenue stream, obviously, for Disney. So, I'm excited I mean, about this. Who doesn't want to have a run with Jack? Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. I think. The Barker Bird's going to be there. They're bringing back the Barker Bird, which I missed, which I thought was really cool. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I imagine that they're going to have like the, the, what's it called? The, the redhead replacement, whatever they call her, the auctioneer girl, whatever. And, yep. and Jack Sparrow's going to walk around and stuff. And I don't know. They, they didn't say where it was. You know, Dave, you, Brandon, you've never been to Disney, right? Land, I'm sorry. You've no. never been over there. No. Dave, could, Dave, did you ever eat at the restaurant in the Pirates of the Caribbean? The, um, no, Blue Bayou? I did, but you can always eat there. It, and it's, cool. it's badass. Yeah, it's really cool. I love that. I love that the ride comes around and you can see great the, environment. the car. Uh, you can see the car. You can see the boat come around, which is <laughs> awesome. Then the restaurant's right there on your on the ride. It's kind of like the Mexican, uh, the, the restaurant in Mexico yeah. in Epcot. And I love that. So, like, m- my vision's like, put the tavern right, like, like in Disneyland, like they have Blue Bayou, but that's never happening. So, yeah, I that, don't know that would be a dream. room over there to do that for that. Yeah, but, no way. Uh, there's not. But it'd be like, cool. that would be really cool. But, and, and like I saw a lot of uh, YouTubers going around, like where are they going to put it? Like and then like, come on, like if they don't put it at the Tor- Tortiga Tavern, which I'd never even heard of, like what is that? I never even yeah. like you're, you're right because it was never open. So that's that's what's going to do. So that's cool. Uh, believe it or not, the Hatbox Ghost he's coming. 
He's coming for no, he's not coming for Halloween. He's coming for November, started. like don't, first week of November. So. Don't get me started again. <laughs> Universal's gonna build a park before we can put a ghost in a haunted mansion. Exactly. I think he's there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but so, um, let's call it what it is. It, they, it is an early Christmas present for haunted mansion. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Where they could have released it during the um, Halloween party. anytime months ago a year ago at this point but like you see his existing character in Disneyland it's going to be during that long mm-hmm. that hallway um it's where but, the thr- uh, like the throne chair used to be right like right yes. after the hallway with the floating exactly yeah that's exactly where he's going to be I think the curtains there already they're working on it which is bizarre I've never heard of that before like you work on something while the ride's on it's just weird it's but, too er- it's too early in the ride for me I'm gonna be honest Exactly. Well, the problem is in Disneyland, he's in the attic, and everyone likes yes. it there. It's very cool. But As you exit the house, he's right there. I have a feeling that the attic in Disney World is quick. You're like, you kind of like yeah. turn the corner, and you're like out of the attic already. So maybe they didn't feel it did it justice. So they explain what the deal is. He's he's not a happy haunt. That's the problem. So he kind of complains, and then the next so scene me. is what yeah. he's so like he's dave. dave if dave was the half <laughs> exactly. he's like dave he's like he's like complaining and stuff and you know and then the next scene is madame leota like fixing his complaints that's that was like the explanation i don't know it's just right. weird that's very deep <laughs> they got phys- <laughs> they got philosophical on us yeah. well he's not a happy haunt so <laughs> let me take madame you into leota. the psyche of the hatbox ghost that's, that's- so there's a couple other there's a couple cruise uh, ideas too. The Disney Adventures coming. Uh, there's a new private island they're buying. Like, hey, let's just buy another island because we filled up the other one. Let's just buy another island. So why not? And then Disneyland had um, a new Avengers e-ticket ride coming. I, I smell it. Smells like um, Teen Spirit. smells like Star Tours, but it's just with uh, like Avengers. <laughs> what were you saying? He said it smells, it smells like, like, like Teen Spirit. Spirit. Sorry, like I'm, a, I'm a kid of the 80s and 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, 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 Dan. So yeah, Brandon, I want to ask a question too. Like I've seen other D23s at it's at the Contemporary. That's where they had the the fake D23, as Dave called it. But <laughs> I would have swore that like it's an event and like like the thing I went to in Philly, like the expo. Like I thought like they have the panels and then they have like an expo and stuff, but I didn't see any footage of an expo. So well, they just had panels. Really, Is that a, what it was? It's a panel and a gift shop. That's really all it is. And then wow. Missed opportunity. The, all of the restaurants there all were overcrowded. Like people tried to mobile order. Like there was yeah. like if you're at the contemporary, there's nowhere you can run out and get food. You know what nope. I mean? Like you can't run to McDonald's. And so uh yeah, apparently it was a this year it was just a cluster. cluster. <laughs> it was just a super, super cluster. But no, there was no like expo, like the hunt, the hundred is here, right? Like they they opened that mm-hmm. at you know, they started celebrating that at Epcot. It would have been a great, I mean, there's 500 ballrooms at the contemporary. It would have been a great time to maybe display some merchandise, kind of like the thing that you went to, right? Like maybe they could have timed it. Like they moved some of the memorabilia here for destination 23 before it went to its next stop. Like it's just a, just a missed opportunity. It seemed to me like everybody went to panels and then sat around and then ate. And then went back to panels. It yeah, doesn't waited for more panels. It doesn't seem like there was any anything else to draw you there. And that, like, Bummer. I can I can live stream it for free. Like, I don't need to go to. I don't need yeah. to go there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's I felt the point. same way. I saw like it just seemed like the the other pa- they had like the voiceover actors and the, they always have mm-hmm. and the other panels were all the same all the same stuff we've seen before. So, uh, and and then Brandon brought up a good point. They brought. On a side topic, they brought the Disney 100 celebration over to Epcot, and they had like a 100 logo. And then what did they do? They added Mickey Mouse to it. That was like, okay, that's that's all you're gonna do for the. And the, isn't there else? isn't there a new show on the Spaceship Earth? I think I saw something. There's I a think so. Yeah, Disney and then there was like merch, of course, the new merch. And then I'm like I was saying with the Disney, uh, the Walt, the statues and stuff that was part of it. And then there was like a, a new popcorn bucket. It was like a. A purple Mickey Mouse ears bucket or something. I don't know. Did you see that? I no, did didn't. not see yeah. it. No. It's very. It's, it's like it's like this. It's huge. It's like half my upper body. It seemed like really big, but that was another thing they brought over, and that was really it. Like seriously, that's all they're gonna do for Disney 100 in Disney World. So we talked yeah. about this in earlier shows. Like it's gonna come and everything, but the anniversary is like October. You know, in October is the yeah is the hundred. 
back up a second. They did a Disney 100 celebration. Walt would have been 100 years old. That's the celebration they did. Yeah. That was really ago. silly. And then now it's the 100 years of the Disney, of Disney. Yeah. company. So like mm-hmm. the day they launched the company. So Yeah, so it looks like there is a Spaceship Earth show. It says it's currently playing at least twice per night. Oh, cool. uh, the show features the song When You Wish Upon a Star and introduces new lighting effects that include a playful shooting star that zips around the perimeter of the entrance plaza. Oh, fun. So that might be cool to see. Love it. But that's all I got. Oh, by the way, there is a new special. Co- I talked about this on one of my other podcasts. Um, and I, it's going to it's gonna bother me. On, on the Disney's actual 100th birthday, it's going to be on ABC. It's a nine-minute short. It's like an animated live action kind of short celebrating the disney's 100th birthday i apologize i forget what the name it is uh right now but um and it's going to be opening for that movie wish it's going to be the short movie for that movie as well so um it's going to be on disney plus but it looks awesome there's a list of characters you know classic characters new and old in the movie i wish I once upon the studio that's it yeah it looks really cool and like they keep talking about it and it's it's huge like they and I've heard it's really good. Like they keep like promoting, talking about it, and showing it off and everything. So wow. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anything else they're really doing for Disney's hundredth birthday besides Disneyland was doing a whole bunch of stuff. But we're not getting into that today. So that's another show, maybe. Yeah. But uh, and, and Epcot, I think it was just Epcot, right? Is that what it was? Yep, that's so, the only place yeah. that's really <clears throat> acknowledging. Did, it's like the fiftieth anniversary. It's like. Yeah. Eh. I did see yeah. they're keeping the statues, the gold statues, but yeah, they, they were ch- like they took off the fiftieth emblem and put something else on. They're it. chiseling over the the fiftieth <laughs> emblem, which it's is like funny. they put a sticky note over it, and it was just like Disney one hundred. Yeah, do they? Can you still do the interaction with your bands? Or whatever? Yeah, I think they still. They st- you can still wave with them. They still do their. They still do what they're supposed to. It just has a different emblem on it. Interesting. Very good, Dave. When are you going back? When are you going back to Disney? Do you know? Do you have a know. date? Maybe no. Something on the rock. I don't know either, so I don't know. I, I can't wait to see Brandon. Actually, I want to let me know when you all are here. Yes, and hopefully I can sneak. Down. Do you have a trip potentially planned, Rob? No, I got nothing. <laughs> At some point, we got to do it all together. I mean, that only yeah, it'll be sense, nice. Right? Yeah. Yep. Maybe Ma- Matthew Hunter. did text me uh, a while ago. There's a. Uh, is it a new airline that's coming here, or just oh, Spirit? Yes. And it's like Spirit, he's away. like, I can fly down in the morning stay and go. Away. Yeah. No, well, no, they have a like they have a like a six AM flight to Orlando and then like a flight that returns at like midnight. And he was like, dude, are you interested in doing like a one day at Disney? And I was like, dude, that sounds kind of fun. Like I don't know when we'll ever <laughs> as long as your spirit flight doesn't get canceled because there might yeah. not be another one for four days. That's right. Yeah. That'd be all that would be an awesome show though. I want to hear what you do in that in that time. So yeah, that would be fun. So hey, it's a it's a ADP expense. Boom. Put it in the nice. expense account. <laughs> well, didn't the um the speaking of transportation, didn't they open the Brightline trains or something this week? Too? Oh yeah, that started this yeah. week uh Orlando from to Orlando to Miami. So yeah. What's the closest stop to Disney World? Is that the airport? The airport. <laughs> yeah. I think eventually they're supposed to expand it to like the Orange County Convention Center because it's gonna come from the airport and go over to Tampa. So I think it stops at the convention center too. And that's like your Disney universal stop. Uh, and then it's going to go to Tampa, but yeah, that opened 120 miles an hour or something like that takes nice two and a half, three hours to get down to Miami, but it's nice if you don't want to drive good for cruises. Yeah. But still super, it's like 75 bucks a person and you wow. have to pay for bags. So it's not, cheap but if you don't want the drive. same as gas in 2023 though so. that's true that's true <laughs> interesting i think that's all i got boys it's all, all right it's good this is great we did it we did it we welcomed Victory dave back ours. with f- a flourish loving arms if we just pissed dave off that was awesome it was great <laughs> I, I love bicycle we're out of here oh, i'm sorry that's <laughs> you know it's gonna be you know it's gonna be a good show when dave says i don't have anything to say <laughs> You know, you know, you just have to be like, Dave, tell me what you think about Moana. And then you can just put in full screen for 15 minutes. I was like, I don't have, I've not been paying attention to Disney. I've been out of the, out of the country. I've been a whole nother world. I don't know what's going on. I don't have anything to say. All right. Let's talk about. (laughs) Too funny. 
That was a great show, though. Good thanks, stuff. Rob. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for leading us on our fake D23 journey. <laughs> no problem. It saved you a lot of money. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I gave you the good stuff. So I got some shameless plugs too. I have Formal two. Po- I have two other podcasts now too. If that's all right, if I mention, so popular. <laughs> well, you know, I have my YouTube shows. I kind of Dave taught me how to do podcasting. So thank you so much, Dave. Of course. So I kind of converted over my pub talk show and my Rob Fuzz hangout. So you could you could follow me over on on those on those podcasts. Of course, my YouTube channel Rob Fuzz R O B F U Z. Check it out. But I, I all. 83 episodes of pub talk five years worth of pub talk are now on the podcast i'm i'm really excited about it nice so, any show moving forward will be on the podcast as well and the rough fuss hangout i'm gonna i'm gonna roll that out slow it's just a lot of it's a lot of fun that's about 50 shows and i'll just whatever i do i'm gonna add to the podcast too so check it out rob fuzz hangout and pub pub talk just maybe rob fuzz pub talk one word maybe search for the fuzz talk podcast for the you exclusive podcast listeners fuzzy, to this amazing another fuzzy, disney podcast fuzzy pub talk fuzzy pub talk yeah, puppy fuzz branded puppy puppy fuzz talk I'm so Let's go. we're going down here <laughs> we missed you last week dave we did good welcome oh, back we missed you though definitely so it's good to be missed i got nothing to say you know we missed that so <laughs> i got nothing i got nothing <laughs> I miss Dave's to make a long story short, 14 minutes later. That's right. <laughs> um, we're we're coming up on our well, I'm coming up on my three year anniversary of this show. Ooh. Can you believe it's been going that long? That's crazy. I believe it. I've never done anything three years of my life. That's awesome. <laughs> I love this show. This show's great. It's a lot of fun. So thank you. I like the for people listening. The people are great. <laughs> it's good to see your faces every one or seven weeks. <laughs> I'm in it, man. I'm not going anywhere until January. There you Except go. for next weekend, we're going camping. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right, kids. Thanks, team. Thanks, team. Thanks, guys. Welcome back, Dave. Welcome back, Dave. Good to be home in the U.S. of A. Sign us out, my friend. Until next time. Bicycle. Peace. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.